Alright, so in order of rebooting all my nerfed comparisons, I bring back to you speed comparison. We humans are obsessed with speed. There's a certain thrill with being the fastest. However, to make a proper comparison, we will need to start with the slowest things, which is what we will be doing today. We will compare the slowest things to the fastest things in the universe. Now, Imperial units are an unscientific wacky nightmare and won't be featured in this video. Let's get right into it. Right off the bat, the slowest relevant speed is the expansion rate between two points in free space one meter apart under Hubble's law is 6.9 picometers per year, and bedrock, which is one of the sturdiest of materials known, erodes at only 3.1 micrometers per year. Solid granite erodes 12 micrometers a year, and Mount Rushmore erodes 30 micrometers a year, which will cause it to have eroded away completely in approximately 7.2 million years from now. Diamond erodes at 70 micrometers a year, and stalactites in caves grow approximately 150 micrometers a year. Followed by the erosion rate of the Great Pyramids of Giza, eroding at around 0.4 millimeters per year. The average erosion rate of raw emerald is 0.7 millimeters per year, while stone on average erodes 1.5 millimeters per year. It's well known that globally sea levels are rising, and the rising rate of global sea levels on average is 3.1 mm per year. Onto continental drifting, the Eurasian plate, which is the largest continental plate, moves 0.7 cm per year, while the Martian moon Phobos's orbit reduces 2 cm annually as it spirals down towards the planet Mars, upon which it will crash in approximately 6.7 million years. The African plate moves northwards with 2.15 cm per year, as South America drifts eastwards with 3 cm a year. The moon is gradually receding in its orbit from Earth, approximately 3.8 cm per year. Human nails have an average growth rate of 4 cm per year on a healthy person, and the fastest drifting continent is Australia, which moves up to 6 cm per year to the north, and an average human child between the ages of of 0 and 3 years old grows about 8 cm per year. The erosion rate of the Grand Canyon is 11 cm per year and the growth of human hair is 18 cm a year. The erosion rate of the Niagara Falls is 30 cm a year and cellular vehicles propelled by motor protein can move at around 50 m per year. 88 cm a day is the speed of the tip of a 7 cm long hour hand on a clock. The growth speed of bamboo is even higher than that, at 1.2 meters per day. During the end of the last ice age, at the peak of their melting, the ice were treated 1.4 meters per day. This is still outmatched by some glaciers today. The Jakobshaven Isbrae, one of the fastest moving glaciers, in 2003 was 14 centimeters per hour or 3.36 meters per day. 22 centimeters per hour is the typical speed of Theovlium maius, the fastest swimming bacterium while the world's record for the fastest snail is held at 99 centimeters per hour. The speed of human blood flow on average is 1 meter per hour. Then the speed at which a compact cassette tape is played uses 4.76 centimeters of tape per second. The top speed of a sloth is 8 centimeters per second. 1 kilometer per hour is 0.2778 meters per second. One mile per hour translates into 0.44704 meters per second, which is mostly on par with the typical human swimming speed of about 0.5 meters per second. One knot, a nautical mile per hour, is 0.5144 meters per second, and the circumferential speed of a long playing record is 0.53 meters per second. Then, at 1 meter per second, we reach the typical SI standard unit for speed. Building up, the typical scanning speed of an audio CD is 1.2 meters per second, and the average human walking speed is about 1.5 meters per second. And the world record for freestyle swimming is at 2.39 meters per second. The average human has a running speed that lies just below 5 meters per second, while the record marathon run speed is 5.72 meters per second, topped at 6.5 meters per second as a comfortable biking speed. The speed record for Jamaican athlete Usain Bolt was 10.4 4 meters per second, while his top speed during this very race was 12.4 meters per second, the fastest speed ever measured by a human. 
14 meters per second is the typical speed of a road race cyclist, and the top speed of a common house cat can be up to 15 meters per second, while the top speed of a common house dog is slightly faster at 18 meters per second. At 20 meters per second, you have the top speed of a racehorse. The typical speed of a car on the freeway is 30 meters per second. The fastest fish, the sailfish, can swim up to 32 meters per second. And cheetahs, the fastest terrestrial animals, even though they can only speed for a brief moment, at their top speed they can outrun a freeway car at 35 meters per second. The top speed for any human powered vehicle is 37.16 meters per second. And the typical peak speed of a local service train is 40 meters per second, which is equal to the top speed of a black marlin. Then, the maximum speed a human can attain during a face down free fall is 54 meters per second, and the top speed of world's fastest roller coaster, the Formula Rosa in Abu Dhabi, is 67 meters per second, followed by the top speed of a Golden Eagle, which can be up to 80 meters per second, and the typical speed of a modern high speed train is up to 90 meters per second. Back to sports. Golf balls when hit can have a top speed of 95 meters per second. From here on out, we gotta go real fast. The top speed of a Formula 1 race car is 104 meters per second, and the top speed of the Peregrine Falcon in fall can be up to 120 meters per second. The average wind speeds in a tornado can reach 130 meters per second, and the top speed of the experimental TGV train in 2007 was 157 meters per second. After this, the typical cruising speed of jet air airliner such as the Airbus A380 is 250 meters per second. 320 meters per second is the typical speed of a .22 LR bullet. At 340.3 meters per second, we reach the sound barrier in the stratosphere. This speed is typically referred to as Mach 1. Then, the highest speed recorded during a freefall set by Felix Baumgartner was 373 meters per second, and the speed of the Earth's rotation at the equator is 464 meters per second. A Concorde airliner has a top speed of 603 meters per second, and the SR-71 Blackbird, the fastest aircraft driven by a mechanical jet engine, has a top speed of 981 meters per second. Then, the orbital speed of the moon around the Earth is roughly 1 km per second, and when the the solid rocket boosters separate, the top speed of the space shuttle is 1.4 km per second, which is roughly the same as the wind speed on the planet Neptune. Sound travels faster through denser mediums. In water, the sound barrier is 1.5 km per second, and the estimated speed of a thermal neutron is 2 km per second. This is also the approximate railgun projectile top speed. The escape velocity is the velocity needed to launch an object into space. From the moon, the escape velocity is 2.3 km per second. The exoplanet HD 187933b has been known for its extremities, but its wind speeds easily reach 2.7 km per second, followed by the top speed of the unmanned X-43 rocket plane at 3.3 km per second. The speed of the International Space Station in orbit around the Earth is 7.7 .7 km per second, and the Apollo 10 holds the top high speed record for a human crewed vessel at 11.1 .1 km per second. This is just below Earth's escape velocity of 11.2 km per second. The orbital speed of Jupiter around the Sun is 13 km per second. The radial velocity of an object refers to its velocity relative to the Sun. Star Gliese 701 is a star which will approach the Sun within roughly one light year distance in around 1 million years. Relative to the Sun, the star is moving towards us at a speed of 13.8 km per second. During the launch of the New Horizons spacecraft, a speed of 16.2 km per second was reached. The Voyager probe's relative speed to the Sun right now is 17 km per second, and the expansion rate of the ring nebula, one of the fastest expanding nebula, is 20 km per second. The orbital speed of the Earth around the Sun is 29.8 km per second, and when the Galileo probe plunged into Jupiter, it set a record for the fastest atmospheric entry at 47.8 km per second. This however isn't the fastest probe, the top speed of the Helios 2 probe reached 70.2 km per second, but this was recently breached when the Juno probe entered orbit around Jupiter and reached 73.8 km per second. Skull Star is a star which passed through our solar system's Oort cloud roughly 70,000 
thousand years ago. Right now it's moving away from us at a speed of 82.4 kilometers per second. The star with the highest radial velocity known is Barnard's star. It's moving towards us at a speed of 110.6 kilometers per second. The distant galaxy, Messier 87, has a radial velocity of 140 km per second. Then, the orbital velocity of the solar system in the Milky Way is 200 km per second, followed by the radial velocity of the Andromeda galaxy at 308 km per second. Then, the radial velocity of the solar wind can reach up to 450 km per second, and the speed of the Milky Way relative to the cosmic microwave background is 552 km per second. The escape the escape velocity of the Sun itself is 617.7 km per second and marathon waves across the surface of the Sun can have top speeds of 1000 km per second. The current speed of the hypervelocity star PSR B2224 plus 67, which currently seems to be leaving the Milky Way, is 1610 km per second. Star S2 has a famous high speed orbiting close to the galactic center. It moves at 1.7% the speed of light, or 5000 km per second. A fast neutron has a typical speed of 14,000 km per second, while a cathode ray tube electron reaches 10% of the speed of light, or 30,000 km per second. The escape velocity from a neutron star is 30% the speed of light, which is roughly the same speed as lightning. The speed of light in diamond is 40%, 70% in optical fiber and protons in the Large Hadron Collider reach 99.999% the speed of light. Then we reach the speed of light in vacuum, which is 299,792,458 meters per second. The speed of light is as fast as anything in our universe can go. Einstein himself stated that nothing can go faster than the speed of light according to the laws of physics, but even light at a speed of 300,000 km per second takes extremely long to travel the fast distances of our universe. But that is a comparison for another time. I hope you learned something about the scale of speed today, and if you are still interested, there is a mini comparison talking about the speeds of various faster than light sci-fi spacecraft on my channel. And I hope to see you then, and as always, thank you for watching Yiji Science.